Hey, 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 it's the boy here to dope back with another banger. And today, back to react to the generosity. De I always fuck this nigga's name up. <laughs> I'll go back to react to the generosity, uh, the rareness of Tubi movies. Um, yeah, two, <coughs> yeah, two, two movies, you know, uh, they could be a little ghetto, kind of Atlantis. I think what happened was like, I think when Tubi first came out, I remember, I think it was like two, three years ago. It was around COVID time, I think. And then like, you know, it started getting popular. Not too popular, like how it is now. But it was getting kind of up there a little bit because it was brand new streaming service. It was on par for, with like HBO Max because that's when they came out. You know, that was head to head, but you know, two one like really up there, up there. And then I say like last year they started going out, you know, crazy ass movies. I guess like a black year, <laughs> a black creator just started making wow as movies, ignorant as movies, just pure naked. You know what? <laughs> I'm not Uncle Ruckus, okay? All right, so uh. Yeah, we're about to react to his output on two weeks. Damn, I yap a lot. God damn. The fuck? Yeah, I don't remember this movie. What the fuck? I, hold on. I think the last time I watched a Tubi movie was last year, but like, it wasn't a bad movie. I forgot what it was. I forgot what happened. <laughs> some some girls told me. I was like, what the fuck is it? <laughs> and, but it became good, though. But, like, but most of them, they kind of ghetto. Like, it's just like, the story makes no sense. <laughs> yeah, like, and it's like that. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm just a kid. Oh hell no! What? I'm just a kid. That's why that shit was so fake. <laughs> oh my god! They begin exposed. Struggles and the beauty of someone's rise conveying emotions that whenever I see them on screen, I can't help but feel the same way the character is feeling on screen. Not only that, they can introduce you to a new world that is entirely detached from our reality. This. Wild ass narration, bro. <laughs> like it's like he, he, it's like he really got to tell a story. He's like, yeah, man, for the far east. Bro. <laughs> what kind of deep emotions does movies like this spark for me? <laughs> of course, just like with everything else in existence, there's a not so good counterpart to movies, and these counterparts could be found Is way that easier Tate? nowadays since most blockbusters nowadays aren't really that good anymore. Like y'all making so many superhero movies nowadays. When are you guys gonna make the Black Bomber superhero movie? I need that. I'll see that in theaters three times in a row. Y'all show my boy no respect, and yet y'all put the eighteenth billionth Fast and Furious movie. Ain't nobody wanna see. You know what's crazy? He got a point about that. <laughs> Nobody trying to see Fast Furious like that a thousand times. Like, ain't they coming? I heard Fast S was the last one. Then I heard it coming out for eleven. I'm like, okay. I thought X y'all was gonna stop, but y'all just kept going. <laughs> Why? Wow, and half the slop we be consuming nowadays. You can find many of them on Netflix. There's a ton of banger movies on there. But after seeing it on TikTok from time and time again, it seems like there's a streaming service that is a good oh. line for not only B movies, but low quality looking, fifty dollar budget, filmed on a Motorola, looking at. Bro, what? Bro, what? What are these gifts? <laughs> And when finding this out, my curiosity got the best of me. I, I needed to see this. And when I checked it out, I was not only amazed, but I was perplexed on how amazing these movies are. Some of these movies will make Martin Scorsese reconsider what true cinema is. And this bitch is just sitting on my living room couch. You know, I didn't want to keep. What are you talking about? Oh my God. 
Oh my god, the quality's bad. <laughs> oh my god, it looks so low budget. It, it, it looks like it looks real in a way to like where like if I was to do this right now, I would be in a situation like. <laughs> That's how bad the quality is, guys. Boy, I don't even know what you're talking about. I have a banana week. Where the fuck did she go? Tubi, if you ain't know, is a streaming service like the others, but unlike them, what out the of their fuck? original catalog, they have great works of art. So she just like, so she just like disappeared out of nowhere. <laughs> Classics Whoa. that everybody knows about outside the originals they produce, Tubi also has a big catalog of B movies. Not the jazz one, but low budget and indie movies. It has a whole right. bunch of films made by everyday people like you and me. Since anybody can make a movie, everyday people like you if you got a camera, crazy. you can make a movie. The thing is a lot of these films don't look the best or sound the best that, or even make sense half the time, but that, that's okay. These and that's exactly what I was saying in the beginning. People made and created a movie that they're so proud of that they released it to the public for all of us to watch. There's no better accomplishment than that. I'll be talking about one movie today, and that movie is titled Love Beat the Hell Out of Me. And today, I'll be going through and over <laughs> these movies just so you guys can see a glimpse. Nah, that's a, that's a wow ass title, bruh. <laughs> of what I saw, of what Tubi has to offer. By the way, this ain't sponsored by Tubi. They ain't paying me jack to do this. But if a uh, Tubi exec is watching this, my pockets are open. Just like how my pockets are open for today's Man, sponsor, War Thunder. War Thunder. Man, Tubi did not. You think Tubi got money like that? I mean, they might. You never know. Trash browser, and this is Opera GX. <laughs> you, you see this difference? <laughs> no, I, I, now, I'm, I don't see the difference. I'm not sure this movie is trying to be a sequel or a remake <laughs> to the 2000 movie with the same title starring the original War Machine, but honestly, my research. Wait, that was an absolute movie? Oh, shit. That's funny. I ain't watching both movies. The movie starts off with the beautifully done studio logos and title card with some MF Doom song playing in the background. I don't know, I've only heard it from TikTok. And right at the start, we get introduced to our two main characters. Doing it, okay. Why start off a movie with a sex scene? Why? You instantly make it awkward when I'm with my family! Anyways, our two characters, Renee and Antonio, are happily married. They got a kid and they're doing fine, I guess. Then we cut to Antonio's right. job at his office and he already acting like a demon! Oh, shit. Okay, Grandpa, calm down. <laughs> Yo! Why the quality look like some shit back in the day, bro? Like 2000s. Fucking Moisa the Parker's quality, nigga. Mm. What? Don't look at me. His boss then enters Down. and introduces him Bad. to the fire, Rhonda. And you can argue. Plus, he had no guy. What's wrong with you, OG? Shape it up. Man. Already see mad romantic up, tension man. between them. You can cut it with a sword or tortilla. It, it was kind of obvious. Next scene, we are at a school with Renee dropping yeah. her son two and in his class. Yeah, I, I will give you, I will give him this though, boy. The, the Remy on here. Some some of them be looking. Good God, stat. Yeah. Oh my God. There's no damn reason for. A IG model or, or stripper or OnlyFans model to be in these movies. It's like, God, that could be 49 look good, nigga. <laughs> it could be a, your, your auntie, your mom, your grandma. Any one of them. <laughs> and she <laughs> meets her son, the teacher. Oh, God. And is buff like a Samoa. Yeah, By the end of their combo, you can see even more romantical tension in the air. We've seen so much lustful tension with these two, and it was never with each other. She then leaves because she ain't trying to act up, you know? Next, we're at a studio, hearing one of the best songs ever recorded. Sitting in my crib, trying to keep low. Niggas need to understand my shit just flows. Like the breeze off the fucking lake. I got this dope shit uncut. Make your ass lose. Huh? So this dude is Renee's brother, and apparently this is Antonio's what? studio. And they're all part of this music group. I That's forgot it what it's called. And Antonio invited some fine singers to help Wait, what is the group. It? I forgot what it's called. And Antonio invited... What? Hey, yo, what's he mean, mobbed up? 
<laughs> what? You need three six mockers to help him record a song. Renee, brother, and Antonio start hollering at these girls, and all of a sudden, this dude becomes a comedian. No, he didn't call himself T Slit. A for real? This candy man looking goofy. Yeah, say my name three times before fucking watch for that. Yeah, how dare you sabotage me in front of these ladies when your sister is literally. I ain't gonna lie, that, that shit was kind of cringe. I ain't gonna lie. He, he, he thought he ate. <laughs> he thought he ate. The girls there are roasting each other, talking about their kids that that new teacher Renee met today. Her salon buddies egg her, trying to get the deets out of her, but she shows off her wedding ring, announcing her loyalty to Antonio. How sweet. I not gonna lie. First third of this. My hand, my hand just went that smack. Cause, oh my. Movie is kind of slow. I got yeah, There's a lot of small talk, like Antonio telling Ray about the new hire and one of. I, I see why OG acting up, man. He just can't help it. So many beautiful black men. He had to test the wires. He had to try something. He had to, he had to spend it. Assistance. Antonio heads over to her office, and then his boss is looking for him because he just got nominated for an award for a best attorney in the district. The boss and secretary go to Rhonda's office to tell Ah, GG's. GG's. Yeah, it's over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're not getting a job, but you know what's about to go on. Cause he probably, he probably was fucking on. Mm, he probably was having sex with. <laughs> I gotta be careful. I say. In GTA, he probably was messing on um, her, the boss, right? But the thing is, he had a wife, and then it's probably gonna get messy because he was also trying to talk. The what? Yeah, the story don't make sense. I'm confused now. <laughs> but y'all get what I'm saying, right? <laughs> Y'all following him? Okay, I Tell Antonio the good news only the walking on him giving Rhonda back shot. Are you freaking kidding me? They fired on the spot and Rhonda's laughing like she an anime villain. I don't know what the hell that's about. We then cut to Renee bro showing up to that house and he trying to tell her the bad news about her husband Antonio. I have no idea how Hold on, anime. don't come back. They fired on the spot and Rhonda's laughing. You, you hit those? That nigga hit me. Come on. Your sassy granddaddy looking ass. Uh -uh. That is crazy. <laughs> you hit those? I mean, she might got, she likes she got them DSLs, right? Hold on, let's, okay, yeah. Let's look at her, let's look at her face. Okay. Let, let's move on, let's look how he was hit. He must not be hitting it right. Why, why, why did she look like that? I mean, she, He's getting hit from the back. Antonio, the good news, only the walking on him giving Ron on the back shot. Why are you... Are you <laughs> Why did she make that face? Like, she was like... Like, she had to think about it. Like, what the... F Oh, no. Nah. I don't know what the hell that's about. We then cut to Renee, bro, showing up to that house, and he's trying to tell her the bad news. Of Every time I see her, oh, my God. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a bus. What? About her husband, Antonio. I have no idea how he knows, but, like, just, just deal with it. But then he does one of those long build-up explanations instead of just saying what the husband did. Just say he cheated. Oh, so that's her. This is right. Then Antonio walks in last second, right before an actual. I I I know I know you have you have them brothers, right? That, that or, or them cousins that just try to explain the freaking situation, but they just want to spit it out. Yeah, I got I got I got somebody like that. My family, like spit that shit out. Let me know some. Old job because she just wanted to see her husband being a working and strong man. Only to find out this man hasn't been working there for two weeks. She. Hold on. Matter of fact, I'm fucking confused. He cheated on. Hold on, hold on. He cheated on this. The the gap the gap master. Three thousand. <laughs> I just gave that bitch a name. What the fuck? That is great. She's fuck. What? He cheated on that? Seek boy? What's wrong with this old ass? I hate old niggas. 
Oh, geez, I don't know how to keep their dick in their pants, bro. Obviously mad, but then the boss tells her the real reason why he got fired. Then she gets even more mad. She just wants something. Bitch, hey, let's learn that. You, We then cut to Antonio making music with that singer he met earlier. <laughs> then they start. Nah, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. I mean, she she kind of cute. She ain't mid. Now the other one was mid. The one at his job or whatever. She was fucking mid as fuck. But her, she she kind of. Hold on. We then cut to Antonio making music with that singer he met earlier. Yeah, she kind of she look she look younger than that nigga. What the? She like my age. What the fuck? Yo, hey, oh, she a player. <laughs> Yo, my guy really said I already cheated once. I might as well do it again. Then Renee finally yeah. confronts him about his cheating, his job, and she is tired of this dishonesty. You need to calm down. Stop telling me to calm down. She's about to me. This man just starts going Chris Brown on her and starts cheating. Wow. Oh my god. Oh my god. Why would I always gotta bring Chris Brown into it? He just always catches that straight, bro. Wasn't that like in 06, bro? Oh my god. Stop. <laughs> that was almost 20 years ago. Stop. Chasing her with a gun like he John Wick. What? He <laughs> what? <laughs> what? This is exactly what I'm telling you. That shit is ghetto. Like, that one I never really smack. Like, what the? F but he like he really talking to dude. I ain't lying. Right. Right. Like he really hate that bitch. <laughs> Just starts going Chris Brown on her and starts chasing her with a gun like he John Wick. And then <laughs> that nigga said. No, what in the hell? The most intense chasing. Now, I've ever Tubi seen is, is wow. Yo, I cannot believe this is ignorant as fuck. Ignorant as. This is so ignorant. Damn. Damn. All, all them damn hips, she got all that damn butt. She thinks she's gonna make that? Chasing I've ever seen in a movie. <laughs> Go ahead, Miss Parker. <laughs> oh, she back to trip. She falls and he brings her back home and threatens her, saying, "You better not leave me." Nah, nah, that's that is correct. Y'all know why I was thinking he did that. Nah. Okay, that's, 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 He's also a crackhead now, I guess. Next scene, her brother show up and- That mean, it's not a bad story to that? Like, all of a sudden, he a crack? Okay. Why, why the brother ain't doing shit? Why, 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 she, just tell the brother he can knock him off. Like, what the fuck? Sees her face. Even she's he know. worried, he asked, who did this? And she's like, Antonio, but we're not uh, together who, no more. Who so you thought did it, nigga? About. But he wasn't having it, and he was gonna deal with it exactly. on his own. That, there you go. For Antonio to pull up out of his car there to you try by his ass. Shoot that nigga. Yeah, 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 Tony, what's up, man? I heard you. Yeah. Be a bit brother. The fuck? Uh huh. Uh huh. Shoot that nigga. That's Castle, by the way. <laughs> nigga, that's Castle. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. He said that's nigga business, bro. Yeah, and that nigga. He licks his lips and then dies again. Can't be seen having chap lips around the hose. Then we cut to his funeral, which is mad empty. Not even his son showed up. Nobody liked this nigga, I guess. And Renee crying like he ain't just beat her ass five minutes ago. What I do? Renee then goes to see Antonio's mother. When after seeing Renee's scars, she said she always feared this would happen to her. Turns out, Tony's what? father was also a cheater and a beater. And Antonio got his bad habits from his daddy. She begs for Renee to leave Antonio, but Renee says she can't leave him because he threatened her. 
but he was just at his funeral. He dead now. What are you gonna do? Slap you from the grave? Like, that's just ridiculous. Tony's mom then recommends her to at least leave the house while he's still there. And then she proceeds to think about her son's teacher that she spoke to for like 30 seconds. Uh, I didn't know you guys had that kind of relationship already. Anyways, we go to the next scene at night. Too. That doesn't make any sense. It did talk for 30 seconds. What? Like, I'm so confused. Like, uh, so she's like, I talked to him. What? This movie makes no fucking sense, bro. Like, it's like they put no backstory to it. They just packed everything in one. It's like, here I go. Sega <laughs> girl appearing to be catcalled by some random homeless dude. Oh. Hey, she, she like, she like, uh, she like Remy Ma. Right? <laughs> no offense to Remy Ma. Only for him to be Antonio? I thought this man was dead. What the hell he threw him back? First time I saw this scene, I thought it was a flashback or something. But not. Nah, he's no. alive. He's alive, live. So what was that funeral about? Some Mr. Robot dream sequence or some shit? How they they cloned his ass, man. Illuminati. Yeah, he wanted that position for the lawyer. He wanted to be the top. He was about to be the top lawyer though for you know the uh a human a Um. Cause they, they called him in, he signed the contract. They, they had a fake, a body that looked like him. They, they, like, they cloned him. Said, oh yeah, 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 he dead. Just for him to be alive, you know. They said they did that to Tupac too. Tupac's still alive on the island. Nah, <laughs> nah let me stop the fuck up. That's, hey, that's what them conspiracy theory niggas be saying. I'm like, hey, Tupac is dead, right? Let's, he not dead? Let, let him rest in peace. <laughs> I mean, from what I found out later on in the movie, he ain't from Wizards of Waverly Place. So how he came back to life? And the movie never explains this. He, he's just alive again and homeless now. My personal theory is that he has the same powers of Kenny from South Park, but that's just me. Anyways, he confronts the girl about her not answering his calls, but she ain't having it with his drug problems because he's a junkie now, I, I guess. He gets mad as about I to guess. smack her, but then she pulls out the blinky on him. Me go. He slowly backs away. Hey, I'm telling you nowadays, man, that's all you need. Huh? They're not, they said, fuck it, Taser. Fuck, fuck pepper spray. I got the blicky on. <laughs> and GTA. <laughs> this, I got the blicky of me. <laughs> I got the blicky. <laughs> and then notices someone he knows in the alleyway. I It's his deal, and he begging <laughs> who the fuck for more is compound fee, but he got no money, so he offers to do what? Like, who the fuck? Nobody know her. Right? Ever she wants. They walk away together, and we transition to a montage of her name becoming a stronger woman who don't need no man. We then cut to her packing her bags yes. to move out, and while packing, Renee friend frantically comes in the room. Renee, phone call. We need to go get Antonio now. Get him for what? And she does one of those things where she don't explain why she has to do it. She just says, there's no time. Like, nah, you got to explain why I need to save my abusive husband because I will never be in the mood for that. Renee eventually agrees to go. And as they looking around for him, they pull up to a trap house. And then her friend, says, nah, let's just get out of here and call the police. This place ain't safe. But Renee is like, nah, he my husband. Nigga, you leaving him? Both of them go inside, and Renee's friend starts. She is fucking delusional. I get... okay. I'm not. I'm not in medicine. Tripping so. for good reason. See Man, again. Did, did did Antonio put her in the fuck? Put her in the coke. <laughs> did, did did he put her on crack or something? Like, cause he acting like she on drugs. Like this ain't safe. Cause this That's little so junkies walking around, and why are we doing all this? For him. Him! Then Renee says, Look, I just need to know. I just need to know what he's been up to. No, what? If he had a crack house. That's an obvious sign to know what he's been up to. Renee's friend is spitting wisdom while Renee herself is spitting dumb ass. Anyways, we find Tony and he acting like his usual self ever since he died. Yeah, ever since he died. In GTA. begging her to come back and <laughs> Renee just stared what the at fuck him was that? a little bit and she just says let's get out of here she's seen everything she needed to see then why the hell y'all here what the hell you expected it look like to him to be the kingpin of the house they leave and then 
he chases them, and then we transition to a murder scene, and it turns out Tony's drug dealer died of an overdose, and they suspect her boyfriend of doing it. Now, they haven't even identified her body yet, so I don't know how they know she ha she has a boyfriend. One of the cops walks outside because he keeps complaining about the stink of the body. Damn. Please get that damn body out of here. He then sees a group of young African-American men hanging out in their own business, and then the woman cop sees this and is like, Man, I bet you $40 I see some drugs talking. Yeah. You know what? Hold it right there. Y'all just saw these random dudes and automatically assumed they did it. You didn't even question them or yourself. You just went after them without no evidence. Oh, nah, that is insane. That is crazy. Like, damn, this movie's more realistic than I thought. But this one knows karate, so movie logic, <laughs> I, I guess he did it. And that's the last we hear or see anything related to that, so... What was the point? We cut to Antonio walking to Renee's house, that was begging so, some man. more, but Renee is really done done with him this time. He tries to beat her ass again, but she's a strong, independent woman now, so the self-defense training came in clutch. She then tells him she going to church, so if he coming, he can come. He says, yes, I'll go anywhere with you, and enters the car with her, which I don't know how she comfortable with this man being in her car after he literally just... You know what? Because she's submissive now. See a strong... Black woman, she would knock that nigga out. But she trying to do good for him, go to get God back right with him, get tried. But she knows she could whoop his ass every time he tries some boost. She's a strong, independent black woman. Don't take that from her. <laughs> nah, let me start. I gotta start trolling, bro. <laughs> Try to knock her out. But nah, for real. Nice. They enter the car together. You can just beat that that's, that's the end of the movie. That, that's it. Yep. But it has one of those. No, I'm hopeful. Yes, I am hopeful as today. And this. So that automatically makes this one of the best movies I've ever watched. Now, what are my thoughts on this movie? I thought it was pretty gosh darn entertaining. Sure, it had its mishaps like having a slow first 20 minutes, but. Overall, I freaking loved it. And I'm never gonna judge the acting of these types of movies. I think that just comes with the toothy package. But, but the writing in these movies <laughs> always takes a turn in a direction that I would never predict by the time I'm at the end of the movie. Like, I mean, okay, I'll give it that. It's unpredictable. Because you don't know what's about to happen next. It's like you know what's about to happen, but at the same time, you're like, but they don't make any sense. Like, I didn't know that was gonna happen. <laughs> that, that's how I'm feeling right now. I'm feeling like, what the fuck? <laughs> well, who the hell this guy robbed? But I love movies like this. They're fun to watch, and I bet the people who are making it had fun making it. So let me guess, he caught his first body. Now he think he that nigga, right? Basically, that's what they're saying. He's got we between the context. Like now he's that nigga, so he started robbing niggas because he he had that pipe on him. He had his first body. Now he acting to Lulu as well, like his dumbass sister. Yeah. <laughs> Oh man. Dude, now I'm not gonna fuck around and say this movie is amazing or anything. Up there it's with right, the likes of right. Citizen Kane and Dave I might watch it. I but if you're looking for something stupid, fun, and entertaining to watch, I recommend this. Because I think this movie encapsulates what Tubi movies are about. Ridiculous. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Yeah. Hey, this, this is a great video, Jim Austin, man. Shout out to you. I probably said your name wrong again, but you be alright. Oh. <laughs> So yeah, man, um, this movie is funny as hell. Oh, God. Uh, what was I about to say? Yeah, that's how TV movies be, bro. They be weird. Kind of entertaining, kind of stupid, but in a funny way. You know, it's like that's what you expect, like you said. At first, if it was like your first reaction, like, oh, you like, heard it was trash and all that from other people and shit, then you watch it yourself. And that's your first reaction, of course. It's just, that's just normal. It's going you're going to say it's ass, mid as fuck, da da da. But the more you probably get into it, which that's why I might try to do, and just watch the shit. Just clear your head. Don't even think about it, because the plot going to go all over the place. This is going to be funny, dumb as hell, ignorant, ghetto. Like that's just part of the coastal thing, you know. <laughs> it's. No, I'm playing. That's not that's not a culture, but like that's how they see our culture. But that's really not a culture. But like, you know, I guess that just make it fun the idea of how they be acting, 
in real life and blah blah blah. It's like parody, like parody movies type shit. You know, he just said they what indie movies. So indie movies not the best. Like they ain't like Rust Hour or Friday type shit. Like, so don't expect that. So anyways, man. Great video, man. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell to be notified by a new video upload by me. Did I say that right? <laughs> uh, thank you for the support, too, dope gang. I love y'all. Your boy, T.A. Too Dope. Hey, 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 hey. Out.